Welcome to our series of videos on picture framing. In this video, we'll try to take you through your first framing project using custom framer software. We'll start off by loading images off your hard drive. In this case, open all files. We'll calculate the image size based upon the PPI and confirm and the images load. Just hold your cursor over an image to preview it. When you find one you like, just drag it over. Click on the image, and you'll notice on the right-hand side are the controls for that image. We'll set the width at 16 inches. And notice that when link is selected, that the height automatically adjusts. Let's crop this image. Number of crop options. Confirm. And let's and double click and our image is basically 16 by 20. Now let's select some matte options. We clicked on the matte shortcut and on the right hand side the matte tab has come up. We can select mats using the select matte button but in this case what we're going to do is use our thumbnails on the left hand side. Hold the cursor over the thumbnail and you can preview it. Notice on the tab, we have different mat positions, the first, second, and third mat position. The top mat is the first mat. So let's just drag that over, select a second mat position, find another mat, drag that over. And now frames works the same way. Select frames. The frames tab opens on the right hand side. You can select frames from various sources, but in this case, we'll select a frame from the thumbnails. Again, just hold your cursor over a thumbnail to preview. Just drag it over. Now the mat looks as though it's too small for the image. Click on the mat. The mats tab opens up again. Select all, meaning that you want all mat sizes to be this, or, or mat sides to be the same increase. They're all three inches now. Now we want to add some extra weight on the bottom. Unselect all. Bottom. Select the half inch. And OK. There we have extra weight on the bottom. Okay. If we want to compare how another mat would look, or another frame would look with this project, click on one of the frames or let's click on three of them. Go to the Show button and Compare in Project. There we have various options. If you like this one, click on it. Create. The program has now created another version of our project. And Admin, Restore Screen, and we're ready to save our work. Save. There are a number of save options. You can save it as a project, which means you can come back to it and make changes. Save as an image, which means you'd save it as a JPEG file or a PNG file for use on your website or to email or in graphic work. And that's it for the steps for your very first project. In following videos, you can learn how to add glass, labor, other materials, and change the shapes of mats. Please visit www.artframer.com to download the 30-day trial.